we'll start on Zoom and then we do have someone in the room that we'll go to afterwards. Um, Shane, we'll start with you. Yeah, obviously a tough result, Coach. I'm wondering in retrospect if you feel like you could have made any different decisions with the opening lineup um, offensively without so. Well, hindsight is never loses, does it? I don't think so. I think with that front three, the only thing I was disappointed about in that first half was when we gave away the ball high up, and obviously we knew they were dangerous in transition with one very talented opponent. So um, I wouldn't change the lineup now. And then can you talk about the challenges of, of you know matching up with someone like Banda and, and what your guys' plan was for that? Yeah, look, absolute physical challenge. Uh, they have uh, great strength and speed, and uh, I felt we dealt with it really well. I was really disappointed that Kelly was given a yellow card for the first tackle of the game. I know when Banda actually pinned um, Kelly, and that makes it difficult to then get tight and win the challenges. So I felt that was a challenge because Janine had been hit three times and no yellow cards, and we had to take one for the first tackle of the game and I didn't think it was a foul. So, you know, you've got to be strong physically, um, do it by committee. But we were really unfortunate on the first goal deflection. And of course, the one play you don't want it to go to, it does. And, and, and Shelby just couldn't get there in the crowd. So obviously, look, that's their main play. You saw it. They weren't nearly as threatening in the second half. Um, and just a difficult one to take that it was off a set piece and then a transitional moment when we had the ball in the final third and that's where we needed to tidy up in the second half and I thought we were excellent second half. Hey, Rob, can you uh, just speak to us about Izzy D'Aquila, uh, just her work ethic, uh, just to get this opportunity uh, and then scoring the goal. Um, what was that like for you to just to kind of see as a coach uh, and giving her that opportunity as well? Yeah, I just felt it'd be a good game for Izzy uh, with Sink starting and operating in the spaces off the front. And then Izzy does that really well. Uh, as a good nose for goal. She's had to be really patient for her opportunity. I was delighted for her to get on the score sheet. Uh, we had a good feeling that she would. And as the game gets stretched to create the chances, you know, she's good with the vector goal. She works hard. Uh, she's had to be patient for her opportunity, but I, I was delighted for Izzy. And um, yeah, shame Anna, the one off the crossbar, sinks big chance. I think the better chances came to us, uh, especially as the game wore on. But um, yeah, I can't fault the players. Uh, again, the effort in the heat, it's a horrible environment to play in, in the humidity and the heat. Um, we've had three flights already this week. Um, they gave absolutely everything. I'm super proud of the players tonight. And then, Rob, uh, any concerns for self-status moving forward? Uh, no, it was, you know, just a day or two, probably too early um, with the lower leg injury. So uh, we expect her to uh, be up and hopefully the U.S. Will, will manage her properly away in that environment. Um, knowing that she wasn't available for today, I think they'll have to manage her and um, build her up, possibly for the second game against... Uh, career I believe they're playing so um but no concerns long term though and then Rob the last question for me is you've always talked about your trust and belief in every single player uh and then today you know it was Izzy uh and then this whole you know even though this whole streak has been you know you putting trust in your players what what has it been about you know just watching the you know even the players who don't get to travel all the time um step up for you what, what is that like you know just seeing that well I couldn't be I could not be prouder of these group of women, uh, their attitude, their application since I've come on board, their energy, their enthusiasm. We were the better team to second half tonight. I think we deserve to get a result here on the road. Um, it didn't quite work out. I give credit to seven those guys because they were resilient. Obviously played low, low block late on. They managed the game well. Um, I don't know how there was only five minutes we've had an average of 10 Overtime all season, apparently the VAR decided that tonight, which is a new one on me. But I couldn't fault that we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a very good team in very difficult environment. And that's testament to everyone in that squad. Every player deserves, again, it's, it's easy to give praise when you win. I want to give the same amount of praise in that defeat. There's no sad faces here tonight. We're going to win a lot, a lot of football matches with this squad. 
And if we perform like that on the road and we deserve the result tonight, don't don't make any bones about that. Um, we'll be back uh, and we'll be ready. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate you. Taylor, any from you? Yep. Uh, thanks, Rob, for chatting with us. Um, as far as Soph's injury, was that kind of like you knew this morning or was it kind of a scramble at the last minute to kind of rearrange the starting lineup? Okay, we knew. Okay. Um, and then, right, I think looking at Orlando's last games, you knew Bando was kind of the the point of contact and kind of the most dangerous. Those first half goals conceded, kind of, do you think it came more down to like tactics or execution on on them? Well, tactics. I mean, the first one's a set piece and it's as lucky as you like to deflect right to the player in the middle of the box. And then the keepers got tripped in the crowd. There's nothing tactically there. Um, and they might have had a lot of shots, but they didn't create i don't remember shelby having to make too many big saves in the game and then there we... was like six blocks in like a five minute period blocks yeah great yeah. that's not the keeper making the blocks i'll take that yeah. all long. uh look she's a, a, a physical direct transitional very good player um they spent an enormous amount of money to get her you can see why credit to the, them to bring her in and bring her to this league i think it's great for the league that level of talent um, second one, the only one I want back, I think we lost it at the edge of their box and just got caught in space. We maybe could have held our line as the ball went through, but again, we defended it well. And then it just comes inside another little defection players like that who were direct and pacey and very, very physically strong. They get the bounces because they're a constant threat. And I felt overall, our, our back line dealt with it very, very well. Uh, she'll get the headlines. Congratulations to them. Take nothing away. Um, but without her, um, yeah, different, different team, second half, one team tried to play and tried to get back into the game and win it. And I thought we were really good and, and, and probably should have come away with a point. So what was your halftime message to the team? Uh, just be a little bolder, play forward a little bit more. We wanted fresher legs, so it's very difficult to play in the heat and after the travel and everything else in a very early morning out of Portland, uh, on Wednesday. Um, so we knew fresh legs, Nicole, ability to get on the front foot, operating spaces higher than their midfield. And you could see how tired they were towards the end. And then defensive midfield subs, five at the back, low block, knocking balls long, you know, that they managed to, to see out the game. So credit to them. But I felt we did everything possible to to try and threaten and, and get the results. So I'm super proud of uh, of my team tonight. And then um, you had made all five subs, I think, by the 72nd minute, which is a little bit earlier than uh, you have in previous games. Did that just come down to, like, the heat and kind of trying yeah. to keep the energy high? For sure, yeah. And you can see we're on the front foot. They sat back in a low block. We wanted more attacking players on the field with Anna, Izzy, Nicole, Peyton, uh, you know, Kling, who can operate in those high spaces. Uh, so we we threw everything in the kitchen sink at them and came up a little bit short. So credit to Orlando tonight. Um, I look forward to us playing them at full strength in Portland in front of a crowd uh, later on in the season. We look forward to it. They were a good football team and it was a, it was a good match tonight. Okay, thank you and safe travels home. Thank you. Anything else on Zoom? Okay. Coach, I have some question. The first 15 minutes of the game, it was like a lot of respect from both uh, teams, but then Orlando started creating the opportunities to both teams. But uh, why was so hard for Portland to create dangerous opportunities in the first half? Yeah, it was just in the final third. I thought we started the game great, better team, definitely, the first 10 minutes. Uh, we just lost a little bit of possession up higher on the field, turnovers, and then against the team with the obviously the pace and the power up top. Uh, it's difficult in transitional moments. I thought we defended it well most of the time. Uh, but if there's one thing we want back is just that final third prowess, that ability to be more patient, move the ball, work them side to side a little more. And it's difficult in the heat, you know, when it becomes transitional. Um, but after the first goal, we got on the front foot again and with a better team again. So there were large spells that we played really well. We just didn't have that cutting edge in the final third that we did in the second half. Britta, one more from you. Raised. Yeah. Hey, Britta. Britta, go ahead. I got it. Cool. Um, 
Rob just, you know, winning streaks like the one that you are seen don't come around that often. Um, what are you going to remember most about the Brenna, you're breaking up. Do you mind repeating that? Yeah. Can you hear me fine right now? Yeah, it's a little better now. Okay. Uh, winning streaks like the one you guys just went on don't come around all that often in the game of soccer. What are you going to remember most about, about this streak and what you're saying? Uh, just awfully, awfully proud of all the players. The organization we ke we came in in difficult circumstances obviously uh we we were a new team we had to adapt quickly um and i'm so proud of them i'm even prouder tonight i mean what a performance second half to try and take the game to orlando and really put them on the back foot the fact that you know the keeper had to waste time into the corners long balls we gave them everything we had tonight and that, I'll, I'll take that away I'll, I'll take a defeat in that manner because we played the right way and played 95 which should have been 100 um in the heat and played really really well so uh i'm just can't say enough about these women in the dressing room their attitude application effort and we weren't quite at full strength tonight um they were but we'll we'll look forward to to playing them again later in the season and we'll win many many more football matches if we play like that i have no doubt about this group and their quality all right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys.